Hi everyone, welcome to Sajo Line Academy. This is the coach man. Today I'm going to take you through this tutorial. We are going to find the most common name in a given uh, list of names using the linked list data structure. Uh, in this video, team, I'm going to use um, uh, the method that we have actually used on our previous tutorial where we are actually finding the most common number um, from uh, a given uh, list of numbers. Uh, like we are finding the mode from a given at list of numbers. But on this one, we are going to use the lead uh, data structure in Java to find out the common name from the pool of names that we have. So, what is the algorithm that, is the algorithm that we are going to use? Firstly, we are going to actually accept or uh, actually initialize the linked list data structure with what? With the, with the names that we are actually one word, or that we are actually going to, uh, to use. And then from there, and we are going to use the edge method in the linked list data structure, the edge method in the linked list data structure. And then from there, we are going to actually use this method, the find uh, most common name method. This method is going to return what? Uh, it's going to return our, uh, our most common word, most common name. And then from there, in this main method, we will display that what? Uh, that, uh, uh, the, that common name. So let's actually start with the, this code. I'm going to explain each and every step here uh, until we get to, that, to the result. So firstly, I'm going to declare this. Initially, we have to import the, this linked list data structure. We have to import here to import the linked list what data structure. Do not forget that you get an error. And then here we've got the public class common name. This, the class common name, which is our public what? Class or the main class, because it contains what the main method. And then from there, we've got this main method. And what are we doing in, in main method? In main method, we are actually doing nothing in there. What we are going to do in the main method, we are going to call the uh, the respective method which is going to find what the common name or which is going to do the job for us. So how are we going to do it? For this uh, uh, system out print line method uh, which you actually use to print what to print out the output to the user or to the screen. So we've got this uh, actually stream. It is going to print the most common name is and then it will do a method calling we will be calling this method find most common name here, this method. Then at this step, it will call this method and this method will, will return the result here of the most common name and then it will display the output. So what is the logic in this method, which is the core functionality of this tutorial or the core functionality uh, of finding what the most common name is in this word, in this method. Okay, so let's move on. In this method, we are going to declare this method just out, uh, in the, out of what, uh, out of the main method. We are closing this main method here, and then from there, let me use the black uh, marker, differentiate it so that you see where I'll be pointing. So we are here now. Uh, static, uh, maybe you can say public static or private or any access. Uh, access modifier that you want to put uh, here. Then in the static string, find what? Find the most common name. Why is string? It is going to retain a string, uh, a string variable. And then you, from there, find the most, uh, find most common name. This is the method that we are talking about. And this method, what is it doing? This, this method, in this method, you are actually starting by declaring the declaration of. Uh, local variables, the variables that we are going to use in this method only. So we've got this n that we are going to use the max count that we are going to use, which you will actually initialize it to zero initially, and then this will initialize uh, this count variable to zero. And then from there, we've got this string variable, which is the common name that we are also going to use. And there's nothing in it for now. There's nothing in it. There's nothing in it for now. And then from there, we've got this string. 
and it's an array of strings which is uh, which about this one um variable name is what is names it's an array of strings it's an array of strings so in this array we've got what this name tawanda is uh, the initial element and then of tatenda susan as well as tatenda when you are looking at this one we can see that this name tatenda is our most common name which means this method must return what must return this this at uh, this name must return this name is what is the most common or is our mode here so we've got this linked list what our object here this list here it's our object it's our object that we are creating using what the new keyword so we are going to create the new uh, the linked list object and then in the linked list object we are going to initialize this array. We want to insert that array in our what? in our linked list data structure. So how are we going to do it? So we are going to use this add method, which will be inside what the for loop, which will be inside what the for loop. I'm sorry for the background noise, uh, team. I'm trying to help you. I don't have actually a specific space where we can actually do this video for you, but I'll try my best to actually help you with the, the things that I have for now. So, even if he, if the camera is of poor quality, please, guys, try to follow these videos. I will try to, uh, to upgrade whenever I got what enough money for me to do that. So for now, let's uh, actually move on. So I was saying, um, I've got this for loop here. Um, in this for loop, we've got this uh, k integer that we are going to use to loop through this array, and then we initialize what? Uh, we initialize this one, uh, this uh, list, uh, this list what? The list object from the linked list what data structure. So at at first, we've got k equal to zero, and then this loop is going to loop for what? For the names dot length. That's the integer that we have. This one is the function that returns the length of an of an array. So here, uh, our length is what of this array is one, two, three, four. So it is going to loop what four times. Here it's like we are putting a four here. So it's like we are putting a four here. So when the k is equal to zero. Let's take uh, the name at index zero and add it to what to our linked list. So we add the one at first at index zero, then at index one we add the tender, at index two we add Susan, at index uh, three we add the tender again in this list. And then now we've got what we've got our list uh, actually our list of names in the linked list data structure. So I'm going to turn over this body so that you can see uh, the. The, 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 the other code that we have from where we actually left, right? So I've got this code, I've got this for loop. What this for loop is going to do for us, team? Uh, this for loop is for actually uh, equating or trying to loop through the whole, the whole list of names, just equating it to one single name and then try to equate another single name with the whole list of the uh, linked list data structure and then take another name, equate it or uh, actually evaluate to see if, if there is a similarity or if it is equal to that, to the actual name that we do comparing with. So this one, um, in this for loop, we're going to start with i is equal to zero, and then we are going to use this another list method team. This one, this one, which is the list dot size, which is the method that returns the size of what the size of the uh, of the list. Like here, uh, the our list that we are using is what is of what is of size four. So it is going to loop from what from zero up to what up to three because it's i less than what less than four here. Is a four here. So, Tim, uh, here we are going to say when i is equal to zero, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We are going to set this count variable to zero, and then from there we have got another inner for loop. These are nested loops. So we have got another inner loop. This inner loop. This is an inner loop. 
you've got another inner loop here, guys. So what are we going to do with this uh, inner loop? When J is equal to zero, and then you two actually loop up to what? Up to four, because this is the least size. Or all in the list data structure that we've actually put the names in. So I'm going to use another method, which is the get method. We call the get method in the linked list data structure. This get method will return uh, the element or the object is is, is an object. It will it return an object at the index what at the index um, i at the index i. So. And also, we are going to use this equal equals method. We have also equals method in the linked list data structure. This equals method uh, we actually use it to compare between two objects. This one we use it for objects. We use this one for objects. So, both in Java we cannot use this uh, equal sign to compare objects in Java. We don't use this one. We use this equals method, which is actually in what. In the linked list data structure, and we'll be comparing another object with another object. Like here, what are we going to do here, Tim? Uh, at index i, which is maybe let's say at first at index zero, i will be equal to zero, and then what's next? Uh, at index i or at index zero, list dot get uh, zero here, which means we get the first name the first name and then we compare it using the equals method with the something at index j which is index j maybe here at first is also equal to zero so we compare the element at index zero and the element at index zero obviously that element is equal to itself and then we will increase count by one and then from there since we are still in this loop it will come here and increment this j and this j will be equal to one and our still and our i is still equal to what equal to zero so because we did actually came out of this one of this loop we are still in this one in this loop from here up to here so it will keep on what looping this until it terminates and then it will go to this loop so when, I, when j is equal to 1, we compare again the element at index 0 and the element at index 1, at index one, which is actually going to be the element at index 1 and another element at index 1, at index 2. And then we keep on moving. When j is equal to, we compare something at index 0 with something at index 2, then we go up to index 3. We compare something at index 0 and something at index 1, at index 3. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? So we compare the first element, we have actually compared the first element with all the elements at index what? At index zero. And we were increasing this count by one whenever uh, we will encounter the similarity between what? The elements. You see? If this one is not equal to this one, we are not going to increment this. If you are seeing it, if this one is not, if this one is not equal to this one, we are not going to increment this one. That's where the logic is. You see, and then from there, if we actually come up to uh, to this uh, four, is it uh, J? Is it four here less than four? No. Then it will terminate, and then we go here, and then we increment this one by one, we increment this one by one, and then this one will be actually again be equal to zero, and then we start again. Is equal to, is it the element at index now is one? Is it the element at index one being equal to the element at index zero? Now it will be index what? Index zero, at index zero. And then from there, we increment j to one, is it the uh, uh, is it true that the element at in, uh, at index what uh, one was the i will not actually change it will be a constant variable being equal to one and then being equal to at the index two up to index three where we'll be increasing this count variable whenever we encounter the similarity between these what whenever this object is equal to this object and then from from there what will be actually happen after comparing uh, each and every element uh, when we terminate this one 
What are we going to do when we terminate this one? What are we going to do? Like we've actually taken this element at index zero. Let's say, let's go there. When you actually take this, uh, when J is equal to, not, not this one, when I is equal to zero, first year, when I is equal to zero, when I is equal to zero, when you take this for loop up to here, when we encounter this uh, actual, uh, when we encounter, uh, when we terminate this one, when we terminate this one, we have to go into this if statement. We have to go into what? Into this if statement. I'm sorry, it doesn't have to be like this. When you terminate this, we have to go into this if what? If statement. That's what it have to be. So if count is greater than max, which means when you increment this one, if this one is equal to two now, we say if two is greater than max count, then the common name must be equal to must be equal to the what to an element or to the object at index i. Since this one is the one which was not actually moving, you see. So if it is the data which is actually have got if the most common, uh, which is actually the most common, it will have the what? The count which will be greater than the max one, the max count. And then we what? We will initialize the common name with what? With the, the uh, array, with the object at index what? At index i. And then we increase our max count. We will actually in, uh, in move this uh, value in the count to what? To max count. And then from there, we actually go back here. You see, we go back here and increment what our i to what? To one, to two, to three. Whenever we want, uh, whenever this inner for loop terminates, we go back here and then we do this uh, comparison if count is greater than this one, uh, this logic, and then from there, if this one, if this count is greater than this one, we take the, uh, the what the name that you are actually comparing with the whole list of names, and then we we say we insert that name in what into into this variable which is common name, and then from there we also set this uh, count to the max count, so that if we get actually count is two last time, and then if you have actually get a count is three this time, we have to set this max count to what to three so that. If on our next loop we get our count as a five or or something like that as five, we will be able to actually pick the what the actual letter which have got what the number of what of counts here, the largest number of what of counts. And then from there, whenever we reach uh to what to four here, is it four less than uh, four? No, then it will terminate this outer loop here. We will terminate here, and then we will return what? We will return the most what? The most common name to the what? To the main method that we have, and then it will print that uh, the most common name is what? Is Tatenda here, and then we terminate the what? The method, and then we terminate uh, the class, and then that's all. That's all what you need to find what? To find the most common uh, name using what the linked list data structure, and you'll be using uh, the get method, the equals method, and the add methods. Those three methods are crucial when you are doing what the, uh, uh, this program, finding what the most common uh, name in your uh, in a given list. So I want to say thank you, team, for actually watching this tutorial from start up to the, up to the end. Uh, if you actually like this video, and if you like more videos which are actually uh, like this, just uh, click the subscribe button and don't hesitate to ask using the email which is down there in the comment section. Use that email to send your questions and uh, we actually reply you. We actually do videos on a request. I want to say thank you for watching this video.